Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to cook some chicken quesadillas, but a little bit different. We're using here, you see cilantro, tomatoes, we're going to use pinto beans, the pasta sauce, we're using taco cheese, some uh, red onion, wild rice, mozzarella cheese, and the spinach and herb uh, tortilla wraps is what we're going to use. Now, um, thank you for all my subscribers. Thank you for any newcomers. Uh, push that like and subscribe button and uh, the bells for notifications of uploads. Okay, here we've got chicken and rice. All I did was take four leg quarters, skinned them, and you know on my one video of how to clean the chicken, just put them in there and boil them. And then I added... Two cup, a cup and a half of the wild rice. I let that boil up, and then all I did was take all the bones and stuff out. Okay? So now we've got the chicken and the rice left. So out of the chicken and the rice, uh, we're going to add some beans to this. Yeah, we're going to add some beans. It's going to add that whole can of beans. We're going to add some onion we go ahead and cut this onion up cut the onion up. we're gonna do at least half of that onion at least you know, I tell you all the time, everything's the flavor. So you put how much onion you know you would like in it. And that's going to really take it up to where you need it to be. Okay. We'll cut this up and we're sprinkling this in the pan. Okay. Remember, everything we're cutting up, we're putting in this pan. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and cut up the rest of the onion. Okay. Right on in that pan. Okay, now we want some tomato. You only really need one tomato. I just want that to add a little bit more texture to it. Okay. Had to rinse that off. We're just adding this tomato to add just a little bit of texture to it, okay? Okay. Alrighty, I'm just cubing all that. That's going to put just a little bit of bulk in there. Okay, let's get this in there. This mixture also, I make a cheese soup, a Mexican cheese soup out of that's real good. So be mindful of those ingredients because that also can make you a nice cheese soup. Okay. Now this is your cilantro. We're going to just pinch off some off here. Okay. Put that in the pal. Turn it around. Okay. okay we're taking our spoon. We're going to stir this up. 
See that? Stirring all that up. See that? I want to mix that around really good. See that? Yeah, can you imagine them pouring some nice liquid cheese on that, making a soup out of that? Whoa, put a little jalapeno in it. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we got that stirred up real good, and we are going to let add a little hot to it. Um, the easiest way to add some hot to that is just to take your cayenne pepper. Go ahead and take your cayenne pepper and just add that. You're going to add at least a, tables, tables, a teaspoon of that. But like I said before, be mindful that it is hot. Yeah, so we're going to stir that up. Stir that up really good. That's smelling really good. We're going to add some taco seasoning. That's at least a teaspoon of taco season, or maybe even a teaspoon and a half. Like I said, everything is to flavor, so we're going to be mindful of that and getting our flavor on with that. It doesn't look like I got enough cilantro, so I am going to pinch off a little bit more. Let's see right here. And do some more cilantro. Like I said, you know, I cook by feel and seeing it. So sometimes if it doesn't look right to me, I know I need some more too. And this just wasn't visible enough in this. So it made me know I was going to need a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, the visibility of that cilantro wasn't very good so it made me feel like I was gonna need a little bit more alrighty now that's looking really good and it's smelling I wish you could smell it it's smelling really really awesome okay and get a lot of this put up Now what we're going to do is we're going to take and put some of this taco cheese inside of here, meaning we're going to mix that up because we want that mixture to melt together also. So you see that? So we want that to be inside of there. See that? It's already, you can see some of the cheese is already trying to melt okay see that mixture oh yeah that's lovely okay now we're going to pour some of our sauce in here we don't want to get it too watery just enough to have some sauce okay just enough to know that we had some sauce okay see how that mixed in you didn't even know you had any sauce Want a little bit more. So I guess we're saying a third of the can. Yeah, we're just saying a third of the can. Just need enough to know that sauce was added to it. We don't want it swimming or anything like that. Like I said, just enough to know that sauce was actually added to the pan. So that's very little. Okay. All right. I'm going to clear this off because now we want our next step to happen. And that is going to be our 
Okay. Open this up. All right. There's one, two, three, and four. Yeah. Three, four. Okay. We're going to take that cheese. We're going to put just a little bit of cheese on the bottom. Start out with the cheese on the bottom. Probably would have been easier if we had added. Okay, yeah, there you go, that's fine. And we're gonna do the same to the other ones. We're gonna put cheese on the bottom. Okay, and let's do the same thing on this one. Cheese on the bottom. Okay, cheese right on the bottom. Okay. Okay, we got a little bit more cheese we need to add. Okay, now we're going to take our scooper. Let's see. A nice heaping spoonful. That ain't quite enough. Okay. I'll put that in the middle. And then you're just going to, well, you might need a little bit more. And you're just going to smash that around. Leave the ends open that that might melt. Okay. See that? Okay. I'm going to go to the next one. Put a heaping teaspoon here. Okay. Pat that around. We got the next one to do. Put that on there. Probably need a little bit more. And then. Last one. Right, we've done those. I'll take this little bit of cheese, put this around on top. Okay. mindful that your oven's going to need to be hot. So we're going to turn that on. Getting it heated up. Take these little 
ones out. I'll put that right on top. I'm going to press, put some pressure on it. Just a little bit of oil on our pan. Very little bit. Let's guess that's about a tablespoon. And we're going to rub that around. We don't want anything to stick to the pan. All right. Just going to pick these up. Pick them up. On there, go ahead and put these in the oven. Good. Okay. These are the quesadillas when they come out. I'm just uh, lift them up around their edges. That's why it's important that you add that oil. Keep them from sticking. Okay. Just gonna take that pizza thing and you're gonna cut them. Okay. Go ahead and cut them. See that? that out of there there you go there's that quesadilla and if you like you can put you some sour cream and a tomato on there now try that out see how you like it let me know in the comments thanks a lot join us next time for something else a little different bye bye